lakini ni furahi sana kusikia maneno ya Archbishop Raphael Kituva ameosema simara hii kanisa itaongea muweke mambo sawa sawa kanisa wakati huu tutaongea na mukubali wakati huu kanisa tuongee kwa hivyo wakati huu tutaongea na tukishaongea msikilize hatutawaambia mabaya tutawaambia kutoka kwa biblia kanisa hata mara ile iliongea lakini ilisema maneno machafu So let me ask you, why is Israel Odinga trying so hard to convince the church to resist against President William Samuel Ruto? And do you think that the church can actually reject William Ruto for Raila Amolo Odinga? Because it seems that Raila is trying to use the church as part of his political strategy ahead of the 2027 general elections. Can he succeed on this? And I want you to listen to Raila Odinga here saying that because of the church decision to support William Ruto in the previous 2022 general elections walikuwa wanaabudu shetani. Lakini ni furahi sana kusikia maneno ya Archbishop Raphael Kituva. Ameosema simara hii kanisa itaongea. Kanisa hata mara ile iliongea lakini ilisema maneno machafu. walikuwa na abudu shetani wanake jamaa wale walikuja na propaganda mengi zaidi mpaka wakapombaza kanisa kanisa wakachukua wale ni watu waaminifu lakini yale yote tulisema yale ni yote ni porojo walikuwa wanatoa hadi ambayo ilikuwa tunajua haiwezi kutekelezwa sasa kweli imejitoka ime, ime so hilo sema tu kweli kidhihiri uongo ujitenga and after listening to this the question that i was asking myself if the church had decided to support Raila Odinga or Azimio in the previous 2022 general elections does it mean that the church wangekuwa wanaabudu mungu just listen the church supported president william ruto massively in the previous 2022 general elections the church still supports william ruto up to date there's nothing that has actually changed about that and the reasons as to why the church has always been on william ruto's side and not raila amolo dinga are as follows number one, president william samuel ruto actually signed a charter in his manifesto with the church to be part of his government and that is why up to date even after william ruto took over power as the president of the republic of kenya it does not mean that william ruto stopped supporting the church William Ruto will always go to church even as the president and he will still support the church because the church is actually part of his government number two, the church has always supported William Ruto because William Ruto and Rachel Ruto are actually born again Christians it means that William Ruto and Rachel Ruto are people who understand the church so much as compared to Raila Odinga and Aida Odinga. Number three, it is because Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Alliance and Raila Amolo Odinga criticized the church so much in their campaigns in the previous 2022 general elections. And at some point, I can still remember very well, Azimio and Raila Odinga threatened to close some churches if Raila Odinga will become the president of the Republic of Kenya. And number four, it is because the church strongly believe that William Ruto is actually the right choice. William Ruto is a leader that Kenya needs right now compared to Raila Amolo Odinga. So let me read for you this article here with the headline Raila Alika Kanisa Vitani. It means that Raila Odinga has invited the church to support him to criticize President William Samuel Ruto. It proceeds to say that Raila asikitika kuwa raia wanaumizwa na mzigo wa ushuru na gharama ya juu ya maisha ila kanisa limenyamaza tu badala ya kutetea wanyonge and the big question here is 
Why is the church not ready to listen to Raila Odinga? Why is the church rejecting Raila Odinga's call? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in this analysis as I give you the secret truth behind this. Why the church is rejecting Raila Odinga's call. But before that, just a quick reminder. In case you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Just hit the like button down below so that YouTube can recommend this channel and most importantly, this video in particular to reach out to others. To my returning subscribers, I also want to appreciate you so much for your continued support because without your support, this channel cannot be where it is and that is why I don't take your support for granted. You can also activate the notifications for this channel so that every time I upload a video here immediately, YouTube will automatically send you the notifications. And you can simply do that by pressing the notification bell in this channel. Having said that, now let us go straight into the details. Why is the church not ready to listen to Raila Odinga's call to criticize President William Samuel Ruto? Number one, it is because of Raila Odinga's constant attack on the church leaders. And from the clip that you have just heard, Raila Odinga is still attacking the church leaders for supporting President William Ruto, saying that walikuwa wanabudu shetani. So if the church had supported Raila Odinga in the previous 2022 general elections, wangekuwa wanabudu mungu, you know, those kinds of comments is actually what is making the church leaders to still resist against Raila Odinga's call. Number two, the church is resisting on Raila Odinga because Raila has always been against the church. Raila has never ever supported the church. Let me ask you, do you know of any church built by Raila Amol Odinga? Absolutely none. William Ruto, Uhuru Kenyatta, President Moi, and also Jomo Kenyatta supported the church. But Raila Odinga has never supported the church. And that is why William Ruto at some point was saying that Ata Sadaka Pekeake, Raila Awezi Toa Kanisani. And finally, it is because Raila Amolo Odinga still supports the atheist. You know, the atheist actually don't believe that God exists. They don't believe in God. And that is why if you can still remember very well, in Raila Odinga's manifesto, Atheists were also part of him. That is why the atheists supported Raila Odinga and not President William Samuel Ruto. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't need to think. I also want to know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for listening. Please let me see you again in my next analysis. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Jason. Bye-bye.